Carefully tear open the foil pouch and remove the rotor gently with finger and thumb. Only hold the rotor by the edges. Avoid contact with rotor surface where optical measurements take place. After opening the pouch, the rotor must be used within 20 minutes. Holding the rotor by the edge, gently pull the end of the aluminium strip in an outward direction along the surface of the rotor. Pet it to the end of the 200 microliter pipette provided. Do not touch the end of the tip. Using your thumb, push down the plunger on top of the pipette to the stop position. Immerse the pipette tip below the surface of the sample and slowly release the plunger to draw up the sample. Avoid drawing in any air as this will cause the rotor to fail. With your thumb fully off the plunger, remove the pipette from the sample tube. Insert the pipette tip into the sample port on the rotor. The pipette tip should only make slight contact with the bottom of the sample chamber. Do not push down hard. Keep the rotor level and the pipette tip perpendicular to the surface of the rotor. Gently push down on the plunger at the top of the pipette to the stop position. All of the sample should have been expelled into the sample chamber. Keeping the plunger held down, gently remove the pipette from the sample port. The plunger may now be released. Discard the used pipette tip in clinical waste. Press the start icon on the touchscreen to open the rotor drawer at the front of the analyzer. Hold the rotor by its edge with the barcode facing up and the rotor kept level. Avoid touching the surface of the rotor and gently place the rotor into the drawer. Press OK to close the rotor drawer. Use the touch screen to enter the patient ID or scan the patient ID using the optional external barcode scanner and press OK. Select the species followed by the patient name. Depending on your analyzer settings, you may also enter gender, age and weight. Analysis will now commence. When the test is complete, the system will display and print out the results. Press the home icon to return to the main menu the drawer will open for you to remove the used rotor. Press OK to close the drawer. Dispose of used rotors in the clinical waste. The dilution tube contains 600 microliters of diluent. Please ensure there is no fluid in the cap before opening to prevent liquid loss and inaccurate results. The best way to ensure this is to centrifuge the tube for 10 seconds. Using the 50 microliter pipette provided, transfer 50 microliters of the sample into the diluent tube using correct pipetting technique. Do not let the pipette tip touch the surface of the diluent and dispel the sample slowly down the side of the tube. Do not release the plunger until the pipette is clear of the tube. Use a new pipette tip for each cartridge to ensure precision. Discard the tip in clinical waste. Close the cap tightly and invert 10 times to mix. Open the cartridge pouch and retrieve the cartridge using powder-free gloves. Avoid contacting the reagent reaction cuvettes. Seat the cartridge in the metal carrier, barcode faced up. Align the groove below the barcode with a raised bump on the outer edge. When aligned, press the cartridge in place on the carrier. There must always be three cartridges on the carrier during testing. If only one or two cartridges are being tested, fill the remaining spaces with balancer cartridges. Never use a cartridge as a balancer. Using the 100 microliter pipette and a new pipette tip, transfer 100 microliters of the diluted sample into the cartridge via the sample injection port. Please ensure all sample fill cartridges contain samples from the same patient. Press start on the VB1 analyzer to open the drawer. Hold the carrier level and place in the drawer. Press OK and enter any necessary patient or sample information. When the test is completed, the system will display and print the results. 